for rock. Go ass on the one niggas call when they shit get snatched. On the man, bitch ass trying to go shit. One nigga that's talking whole life in my head. I've been pouring the whole car life in his hands. Free G30, only thing that I'm saying. Free Pike 30, you know what I'm saying. Free do say sweep shit in the dust. Six teams out here at the scene just left within the last 30 to 45 minutes. We're here at Saratoga and Montana Avenue's Northeast. Let me give you a quick look at the scene as we're seeing it here early this morning. Now we're going to give you a look at some footage from right after the shooting happened last night. Again, that's about six hours ago. Police say shooting was called in around 1030 last night near the intersection of 14th and Montana Avenue Northeast. Now when they arrived, they found three men with gunshot wounds. One was not breathing at the time, one remaining in critical condition. Now, police said they also found 30 plus shell casings around the scene throughout the night. And they tell us some cars and buildings were even hit by bullets. Now, as you can see, there are still police out here. Some of these roads are still blocked off. So we'll, of course, continue to update that for anyone who has to leave out for work in a bit. But homicide detectives were also called to the scene. W3 explained that IT has worked in and has managed security officers in the area for over 11 years. W3 explained to the detectives that IT has become familiar with multiple individuals in the area where the decedent was shot and killed. W3 explained that IT was able to view the CCTV cameras and almost immediately recognized two of the subjects in the video at that time of the shooting. W3 explained that one of the subjects IT observed in the video was Justin Borum. W3 described him as the shooter that fired first. W3 explained that IT is familiar with Justin Borum from the many interactions W3 has had with him in the past. W3 went on to further explain about the identification of Justin Borum by saying he recognized Justin Borum's mannerisms and body mechanics as he viewed the video. W3 said that the second subject was Jerome Dukes. W3 said that the individual holding the rifle in the CCTV footage was Jerome Dukes. W3 explained that IT was also familiar with Jerome Dukes. From the many interactions IT has had with him in the past, W3 explained that the mannerisms and body mechanics of Jerome Dukes that IT observed from prior interactions were consistent with those displayed and observed by W3 in the video of the shooting. W3 told detectives that IT was able to view the same CCTV cameras from an earlier time during the same day, but in daylight hours. W3 said that while viewing the daylight footage that IT was able to view Justin Borum and Jerome Dukes in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue, Northeast, where the shooting of the decedent took place. Detectives were able to run a Washington Area Law Enforcement System, National Crime Information Center check of the names of the two individuals that W3 provided information on. Justin Delante Borum, a black male with a date of birth of 08-17-1989 and a police department identification number of DC-563442. Jerome Devon Dukes, a black male with a date of birth of 01-26-1990 and a PDID hashtag of DC-576087. The decedent is standing next to Subject 2 just after being grabbed and pushed to the current location. S2 is seen with an assault weapon in his right hand. It should be noted that this camera angle is 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 14 seconds ahead of real time. S1 is pointing a handgun at the decedent and is forcing the decedent to the ground beside the back portion of the vehicle that they are next to. S2 is holding a rifle in his right hand and a handgun in his left hand. 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 14 seconds ahead of real time. It is at this point that the decedent is going to the ground as S1 and S2 are pointing weapons at the decedent as he goes to the ground next to the car. The gestures by each subject makes it appear as if there is communication going on. 1 hour, 5 minutes and 14 seconds ahead of real time. The decedent appears to attempt to stand up during this portion of the clip all while S1 appears to be confronting someone as S1 and S2 are still armed. 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 14 seconds ahead of real time. The decedent who was next to the rear of the vehicle where he was last seen kneeling next toys seen starting to get up and run toward Montana Avenue. 
northeast in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue, northeast. S1 is standing next to a clothing donation box. S2 is in the driveway both still armed as an unknown citizen seems to try and come between the decedent and S1 as a distraction when the decedent takes off running. 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 14 seconds ahead of real time. As the decedent is running, S1 is shooting at the decedent 4 times before negative $2 starts. Shooting S1 appears to be shooting in the direction of the unknown male who stepped in front of the decedent and the decedent. S1 then continues to shoot in the decedent's direction. The individual marked by the blue arrow is W2 who was shot in the lower leg. 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 14 seconds ahead of real time. S2 is observed shooting at the unknown citizen that was between S1 and the decedent when the shooting began. 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 14 seconds ahead of real time. This is a different CCTV camera between the location of the shooting and Montana Avenue, northeast, and the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue, northeast. This image captures the decedent being shot as he continues toward Montana Avenue, northeast. The decedent fell to the ground a couple of times until coming to a rest at the southwest corner of Saratoga Avenue and Montana Avenue, northeast. Where the decedent was shot is consistent with the direction that S1 was firing in the other footage. SLS vehicle is pulling out of the south parking lot in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue, northeast indicated by the green-yellow arrow. The date is Tuesday, February 21st, 2023 at 22 hours 36 minutes and 35 seconds hour S2's vehicle is pulling out of the south parking lot in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue. Northeast indicated by the red arrow. The date is Tuesday, February 21st, 2023, at 22 hours 36 minutes and 40 seconds hours. S2's vehicle is driving at a high rate of speed leaving the south parking lot in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue, northeast, crossing over 14th Street on Saratoga Avenue, northeast. The time is at 10 hours 36 minutes and 50 seconds hours, Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. On Tuesday, February 21st, 2023, at 22 37-53 hours, S2's vehicle is traveling south past the PR in the 2400. Number Of their discovery Homicide detectives went to the location and viewed the vehicle. The vehicle is one of Northeast throughout the day of Tuesday, February 21, 2023. The image is at Saratoga Avenue and Brentwood Road, Northeast. The subject vehicle is in the 1300. Learned that this registration was connected to the mother of S1's child. On Tuesday, February 21, 2023, at 1054. 23 hours S1 exits the black SUV with District of Columbia registration GG8871 in the north parking lot in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue, northeast. Vehicle that S1 drives and parked on Tuesday, February 21st, 2023, at 13 to 52 hours, which is pointed out by a yellow arrow by S1. 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 14 seconds ahead of real time this clip of the CCTV footage shows S1 and S2 walking together in the north parking lot in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue, northeast. The time watermarked is 1358 hours, true time 1258 hours. The clip of the CCTV footage at 1,401 hours shows S1 and S2 walking together. This image from CCTV footage is in the south parking lot in the 1400 block of Saratoga Avenue. Northeast, the tag number for this vehicle is a Maryland registration SFD 9125. This vehicle is registered to Dollar Dash 2 Jerome Devon Dukes, address of 3563 S5A Venue Apartment 4, Hyattsville, Maryland, 20784. The vehicle is 2014, four-door, black, BMW. In the background, SLS vehicle is parked in the same location as it was pointed out in previous images.
the story of Semi is really sad. I can't even lie to y'all. Because he's like the second rapper from his neighborhood to me a untimely demise. And then on top of that, in my opinion, it's just a bunch of crab in a burrow jealousy mentality stuff, you know? Because as soon as he signed that deal, you know, every rapper started hating on him. They started making disses about him. They started subbing him on Instagram stories and all that, man. And then on top of that, they allegedly say that the person who did that to Semi, he's an old head from around his way, from his neighborhood. So that's crazy to me, y'all. Like, I don't know how you could be almost 48 years old. He's probably 40 now. And you over here setting up a young up-and-coming talent from your neighborhood, man, that's bringing economic growth. But, man, it's sad, man. Semi was a young bull, too. I think he was, like, 22 or 21. It's sad, man, for real. But shout-out to the whole Saratoga, man. If you guys uh, like Semi Homie's music, there's a rapper that goes by the name of Lil Sean. S-E-A-N. You know, he sounds just like Semi. The same flow and all that. So y'all go check out Lil Sean. Um, yeah, man. Rest in peace to Semi Homie. Rest in peace to all the violence. The victims of gun violence, man. And uh, hit that like, comment, subscribe, all that, man. It's your boy.